Look, if you've ever stared at your iCloud storage and thought, ugh, how do I even start deleting these? You're not alone. It's confusing, slow, and honestly, sometimes it can feel impossible. So let me save you some time with the easiest ways I found that actually work. All right, before I jump in, I tried and tested all of these methods so you don't have to. So let's make a deal. If this video helps you out or saves you even a few minutes of headache, go ahead, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Okay, first things first, if you don't have your Mac nearby or you just want to delete some photos quickly from any device, head over to iCloud.com. It's perfect for quick access and it's a great option if your devices are full but you still want to access your iCloud photos. I ran into this myself. Once my iPhone storage was full, the Photos app wouldn't even load the images. The only way I could access them was through iCloud.com. So here's what you need to do. Go to iCloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID. Click on the Photos app, select the photos you want to delete, and hit the trash can icon. There is a downside to this method though. If you're trying to delete thousands of photos at once, the iCloud website gets really slow and glitchy. Technically, you can do it, just hold shift to pick a bunch, but the whole selection process is clunky. It took me about three tries to delete the same batch. I got frustrated and actually just gave up. Also, remember that deleting photos here just moves them to the recently deleted folder, so you have to empty that folder too if you want your space back. Another way to delete your photos is from the system photo library. I found this to be a better option if you want to get serious about deleting a lot but still want to actually see what you're deleting. Launch photos on your Mac, click library in the left hand sidebar, select the photo you want to delete. If you want to delete more than one photo, hold down the shift key and select the others. And when you've selected all the photos you want to delete, press delete key on the keyboard. You can scroll smoothly, preview everything and delete big groups without the lag. Now, if you're trying to free up storage and make organizing your photos way easier, there's one thing you should try first. I found a tool that shows you exactly what's taking up space both in iCloud and on your Mac. Turns out your system can store duplicates or near identical photos in random spots, photos, downloads, even messages. And deleting from iCloud doesn't always clear up space on your Mac itself. When I ran this cloud cleanup tool from Clean My Mac, it scanned both my Mac and my iCloud, found duplicates and junk that I didn't even know was there. So if you want to actually free up space faster, this is worth a quick scan. It finds stuff that would have taken you hours to track down manually. Oh, and it's free to try for a week, so no reasons not to check it out. Okay, last one. If you're looking to delete all your photos from iCloud in one go, you can do it right from your Mac system settings. Go to the Apple menu and choose System Settings, click on the iCloud pane, and uncheck the box next to Photos. You'll be prompted to download your photos from iCloud, so tap on Download, otherwise you'll lose all your photos permanently in 30 days. Then disable iCloud in the pop-up settings and click Remove from Mac. You get 30 days to change your mind before it's gone forever, and you can also use this to delete app data, files, and backups from iCloud if you want. Now, if you need more ways to keep your photo library under control, check out this video. Learn how to set up smart albums, tag people, and actually find photos without scrolling for hours. So yeah, those are the fastest ways I found to finally clear out iCloud photos without losing my mind. And if you want to go deeper, check out Clean My Mac. It really opened my eyes on what was actually taking up space on my Mac. If you know someone drowning in screenshots and blurry pics, send this their way. And don't forget to subscribe if this actually saved you some time. Catch you in the next one.